Hi everyone, it's Jenny from Art with Jenny K. Today I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can make your own Eric Carle styled textured paper with your students. This is a great project that you can do with pre-kindergarten, kindergarten, first grade, all the way through elementary school, and even into middle school. You can use it with an Eric Carle style book or with any other piece of literature that you like to teach. Children will be involved in the process of making the paper that they use in the project that they create. I know what you might be thinking. Hold on a second. I'm not the art teacher. So that's why I'm making this video. I'm assuming that you're a classroom teacher who's trying to infuse your classroom with more art. And that's why I've created this video so that you will have the confidence to do this project with your students and realize how easy it actually is. And for all my art teachers out there, maybe you've just started teaching and you're trying to figure out this whole Eric Carle style paper. So as an experienced art teacher, I share with you in this video the way it's worked for me that I've taught over and over and over again. And I'm sure in no time, you'll be a pro at it too. When I start this project, I like to get the kids excited by telling them that today we're going to paint. Well, of course, that always gets kids excited. Then I tell them, however, we won't be painting with brushes. And then they give you that look like, hmm, well, then what will we be painting with? And their first assumption is usually their fingers. Then when I pull out the first round of textured tools, which is usually a toothbrush, they look at you like, oh, this is going to be fun. You will need paper, paint, and a variety of texture tools. Start by covering your table with long sheets of white paper. Walk around the classroom and just squeeze the paint right onto the paper. Use toothbrushes and other texture tools. I like to give the tools out one at a time. When the students are done with the toothbrushes, I collect them, throw them in a bucket, and give out a new one. When you're ready, walk around the room and squirt more paint onto the paper in a new color and add a different texture tool as well. Students will naturally mix the colors together, but encourage them to move the paint into areas of the paper that are blank. When you walk around squeezing paint onto the paper, you can specifically put the paint into those blank areas, which will encourage them to fill up all the paper with as much texture as possible. Try not to rush your students. They really love this process of moving the paint around the paper. However, warn them that if they stay in one area for too long, the paper will get too wet and it'll start to tear. Use whatever colors you need for your project. However, try to avoid giving students colors that are already mixed. For example, with green, give them yellow and blue and let them experience how it mixes together to make green. Have your students spend time noticing all the texture that the different tools create. When students are finished, take the papers from them and lay them somewhere safely where they can dry. 
I like to let the paper dry overnight and come in in the morning and cut the pieces into smaller manageable sizes that I can use with my students. There are so many projects you can use this paper for. Have fun with it, be creative. Tie in your favorite book, pull Eric Carle into it, or come up with something completely your own. Thanks for watching everyone, and most of all, thanks for making art with your students.